This book is called The Funny Little Woman. It's an old Japanese fairy tale retold by Arlene Mosel, and the pictures were all done by Blair Lent. Lafcadio Hearn was born in Greece, lived in Dublin, Ireland, lived for a long time in New Orleans, and then lived in Japan, married a Japanese woman there. It's his book, Japanese Fairy Tales, that has inside it a story called The Woman Who Lost Her Dumpling. And that's the story that Arlene Moselle adapted for this book for young learners. Long ago, in old Japan, there lived a funny little woman who liked to laugh, <laughs> and who liked to make dumplings out of rice. One morning, as she was patting and shaping the rice flour, one of the dumplings started to roll. It rolled across the table. It rolled to the edge of the table and then fell right to the earthen floor. Stop! cried the little woman. But the dumpling rolled and rolled until it rolled down a hole. Ungrateful dumpling! scolded the little woman as she knelt and reached for it. But just then, the earth gave way, and head over heels, she tumbled and tumbled until she found herself on a most unusual road. It was a hilly road lined with statues of the gods. My dumpling! My dumpling! Where is my dumpling? She shouted as she ran. Soon she came to one of the statues. Jisosama, did you see my dumpling? Yes, I saw your dumpling roll by three minutes ago, but you had better not follow it because the wicked Oni live at the end of the road. Oh, tee hee 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 hee, laughed the funny little woman. I'm not afraid of the Oni. And she kept running down the road, crying, My dumpling! My dumpling! Has anybody seen my dumpling? I have, said a very stern Jizo. It rolled by me just two minutes ago, but don't run after it, for you will surely meet a wicked Oni. Oh, hee 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 hee, laughed the little woman. I'm not afraid of the wicked Oni. And she ran even faster, shouting, My dumpling! My dumpling! Has anybody seen my dumpling? Soon she came to another Jizo and asked, Dear Jizo, have you seen my dumpling? It rolled by just one minute ago, but hurry and hide behind me, for here comes a wicked Oni. The wicked Oni stopped and bowed. To Jizo. Good day, Jizo Sama. And very politely, Jizo said, Good day. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. Jizo Sama, cried the wicked Oni. I smell the smell of humankind. Oh, said Jizo, you only smell the breeze off the river. No, no, said the wicked Oni. I smell the <laughs> the little woman could not keep from laughing. <laughs> then the wicked Oni put one large arm behind Jizo and pulled the little woman out. What are you going to do with the little woman? asked Jizo. You won't hurt her, will you? Hurt her? I should say not said the wicked Oni. I'm going to take her home and have her cook for all of us. <laughs> laughed the little woman as the wicked Oni took her down the road to a wide river. He put her into a boat and took her across the river to a strange house. In the kitchen, 
he gave her a large wooden paddle. Now this is how you must cook our rice, said the wicked Oni. First put one, just one grain of rice in this pot. Stir it with this magic paddle and you will soon have a potful. <laughs> laughed the little woman. That's easy. And soon after the wicked Oni left, she tried it out. One grain of rice and then stir. And as she stirred, the one grain became two, two became four, then eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one hundred and twenty-eight, two hundred and fifty-six, and the pot was full. Hee <laughs> she laughed. What fun I shall have making rice dumplings. The weeks and months passed as the little woman kept busy cooking rice for the wicked Oni for Oni eat more rice than most people. One afternoon, she grew lonely for her little house and decided to return. First, she tucked the magic paddle in her belt. Then she went out the door. She looked to the left and to the right. There were no Oni to be seen. She ran to the river, stopped, and looked behind. Still, there were no Oni. Now, quietly, she got into the boat. Then, away she went. Since the river was wide, she had only reached the middle when the Oni returned and found her missing. Soon, the Oni were all on the bank watching her. Now, because Oni do not swim, they thought of a plan to stop her. All of them got on their knees and drank the water from the river. When the little woman found the boat stuck in the mud, she was too frightened to laugh. So she jumped from the boat and began running. Her feet stuck in the mud, her hands stuck in the mud, and she fell in the mud. <laughs> Roared the Oni. The little woman made a funny sight. Of course, when they laughed, all the water fell from their mouths back into the river, so the little woman jumped in the boat and away she went. Away she went, all the way back to her own little house. After that, the little woman was very happy, for with her magic paddle, she could make more rice dumplings faster than ever. So she sold them and soon became the richest woman in all of Japan. <laughs> the end. On the right side of the page, you see some information taken from the website for the Japanese embassy in the United States. And it has some wonderful things that you can explore and a 14-page PDF about Children's Day, which is celebrated May 5th. In 2020, the Japanese celebration of Children's Day included this note. Children can also enjoy traditional foods like a kashiwa moki, rice cakes wrapped in oak leaves, and chimaki, rice dumplings wrapped in bamboo leaves. You can look for those kind of recipes. And from the Japan Center website, here is a photograph of some mitarashi dango rice dumplings. This very fun, beautifully illustrated retelling of an old Japanese fairy tale has been The Funny Little Woman, retold by Arlene Mosel, and the picture is all done by Blair Lent. <laughs>